What's happening there guys and welcome to this video. Now today I'm in a bit of a rush only because this afternoon I've got to go work and I've got my MOT prep to do. So that is literally sorting out the cat because I currently have a decat on. That's what you've been hearing for the past couple of weeks, just a ridiculous amount of droning noise that and it does my head in. Anyway, I've had a cat for a while, I just haven't got around to fixing it. So I've got to get that sorted. I've got my engine management light on, so hopefully that is the um, cat and the O2 sensors. And then, tomorrow is MOT day. Hopefully it passes. Because if you don't, then I'm gonna spend more money. Which I don't really like doing. Only because I'm a time bastard. But last year it went for MOT. So this year I'm hoping it'll go straight through the MOT. Um, there's only one way of finding out. And if it fails, it fails. But at least I know what I'm working with. Right, oh, whilst me exhaust is cooling down, so I just came up here. Uh, it's going to be hot, so we'll get the car jacked up. Oh, the car is jacked up and on access stands. Let's have a look at the cat. Right, so this is my old cat. I currently have a D cat on the car. This is the new cat that I got uh, off eBay a while ago. And this comes with a fitting kit. So we need to get my decat off. We've got 102 sensor there. You can see that it's a genuine fraud one. So that I got off eBay, 32 quid I think. Uh, the problem with my old cat is you're not going to be able to see in there. Listen. If you can see in there, all the baffles have come loose and it's blocking the exhaust. So let's get my decat off and we'll get that on for MOT. tricky ones which are the two at the back and the quickest way for me to do this is to use my impact gun because it's the bollocks Decat. Right, the decat is out. I took the rear lambda sensor out of the decat. The front one's bent because they always touch the fucking sump. And there's the genuine Ford one for the front. They're in the arse really because they just get bent. So that one's not in a bad position. Just that one. Just need to take this out. So the cats are cheap, but it'll get you through an MOT. Plus, the cats are quite loud, and I'm honestly not a fan of them, but it got me by because at least it wasn't restricting the power like that one was because it was getting blocked up in the pipe. Lambda sensors are in. Soft paste. So icing a cake. They have to be neat. Just 
Hold on. Let's go to sale. So I'm going to leave it at that and go sort the hand out. MOT day. My MOT is at half 11 this morning. I am shitting myself. Now if you own a almost 20 year old Ford and or older, maybe not as much as I do, but I'll panic. I panic when it gets to MOT because it's like I work on the car all year. I do everything I need to do on the car. I maintain it, I service it, and then I get to MOT and then I shit myself because it could be the most minuscule thing that will fail it. You all know what I'm talking about. Stressful morning. Anyway, I got my cat on yesterday. I still need to replace my number table. My engine management light is still on. Um, I've still got some shit to do and I've still got to wash the car because it's filthy and you don't want to go into an MOT with a dirty car because it just one, it don't give good signs right why MOT tester wants to look in a car and go holy shit it's filthy in it <laughs> and two he's got to put his hands on it and he's got to drive it me love. take it and we're going to see how we get on. Right, so a quick update. I'm back at the garage now. Um, it failed. Not surprisingly because my two front tyres are knackered and that's what it failed on. So. I can't grumble at that, but I don't want to pay for any tyres for these wheels because they're just winter wheels. Because my other wheels I still haven't got refurbed because I'm an absolute lazy sod. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw these on. They're still dirty. They've not been refurbed yet. Any refurbing. If you can recommend anywhere that refurbs wheels, please drop me a comment. Let me know. But for now, I'm going to have to throw the xxr 527s i know the car's gonna look shit out on them but they're not refurbed but they have got wicked tires on them so let's do that Loads of tread.
Right, she's passed. I can't believe it. I cannot believe she's passed. Fucking well up here. She did fail first, but then she passed. Only on two front tyres, which is fine. Absolutely fine. My XXR's got wicked tyres on. Not got a problem with that. Steve didn't have an issue with that. He knows what I'm like. Anyway, I had to get the MOT done. It had to be done only because I daily it to and from work and I'm not at work today, but I'm at work tomorrow. And if it had failed major, then I would be struggling majorly to get to work. I'd have to ring uh, Stu and say, pick me up in the Mercedes. But it's passed, so that's irrelevant now. But I really needed it to pass only because it's Ace Cafe next weekend, which I'm absolutely so excited about. The weather stays like this, and it's fucking roasting. Then we're in for a wicked, wicked Saturday next Saturday. And now, because the missus said if it failed on anything major, then we're scrapping it. I don't know about you, but it's still going strong. No rust on it, might be a couple of bashes on it, but I've still not failed an MOT on rust, right? That is the be all and end all. Ford's do nothing but rust. I replaced the rear subframe, that was rusty as fuck, and that was about it. But if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to help the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll leave a link down in the description where I got my cap from. I'll see you guys on the next one.